star seeds and welcome back to my channel if you're new here be sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back friend so as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail this is going to be a sacral chakra video this is a this is part two of a seven part series um the seven chakras so this is going to be your second chakra and we're going to get right into the video so if you haven't watched the root chakra video go check that one out now and then come back to this video and fit in you know do it in order um so i have that linked in the description box below um so the sacral chakra um so as you know um the sacral chakra is represented by the color orange um i have my orange hair on today I got my orange you know um eyeshadow eye makeup on today as well um and the second, uh, the sacral chakra is the second chakra is located about two, two and a half inches below the navel, um, in your lower abdominal area. Um, so your sacral chakra, it is going to be, uh, the Sanskrit word for it. I'm going to put it here. Um, I am not going to try to pronounce it, um, cause it's a little difficult to pronounce, but it's not pronounced the way that it looks. Um, but the beginning half of it means self and the second half of it means dwelling place. So this is like where your creative self like dwells. This is where all your creativity and like your inner imagination and all of that, that's where it kind of sits. Um, so I should start off by saying um, this chakra, oh, it's, it's represented by the six flower petals. Um, and six is a very important number, three, six, nine. Um, very important numbers. Um, so think about um, it. Also, it regulates like the ovaries and the testes. Um, so think about like the womb and birth and just everything that goes into that. Um, the male energy and the female energy that goes into that and you know into that creativity. Um, so the sacral chakra is a beautiful place. It's a beautiful chakra. You definitely want to make sure that this chakra is in tune um, and balanced. Um, to help you out with your creativity throughout life and just bring in more life into your life as you go throughout life. <laughs> so um, this is going to regulate the ovaries, the testes, the kidneys, um, the bladder, the prostate, lower back, uh, the pelvis, bodily fluids, adrenal glands, and your large intestines. So everything around that uh, lower abdominal area um, as well as, you know, the, with the ovaries and, and things of that nature. So this is, um, this is the creative chakra of the bunch. Um, when it's balanced, it's, you're going to be accepting to change, creativity. Um, you're going to be a lot uh, more passionate just about everything, just about yourself. Um, your beauty is going to be shining through. Um, just overall, upbeat, upbeat within creativity, within your creativity and um, like staying up to trends and things of that and things of that nature, you know, just being your complete self. Um, so yeah, sacral chakra. Um, this is also associated with sexuality, sensuality, um, how you take care of yourself. Um, how do you release during sex? How do you, you know, if you don't release during sex, will it, will, your, will that chakra, you know, be backed up? Um, things of that nature, um, mentoring, nourishing, and uh, honoring and nourishing yourselves and your body, um, keeping your body clean inside and out, um, things of that nature. So yeah, the sacral chakra, um, like I said before, the color orange. Um, so think about how the color orange makes you feel. Um, action, fire, you know what I'm saying? We went from red to orange. So action energy um what gets you going what get, what drives you um to to do the things that you do or create the things that you create uh whether you're a nail artist a hairstylist a colorist um as far as like coloring hair um a painter you know what i'm saying an actual artist um whether it's in music writing a writer whatever you do um you want to make sure that this your you, you that this chakra isn't blocked um, because that that blocks your creativity. So this uh, with this chakra being overactive, um, you will be overly focused on your satisfying your desires. So it's like you're eat, sleeping, and breathing your desires, and not realizing um, like what's a want, what's a need, 
um, not realizing that all desires aren't just going to come at the, you know, snap of a finger and they're not all going to magically just come. Some things we have to live without and that's okay. Um, and also if you are unaware of your wants and your needs. Um, so you just, it's just a little hard to differentiate the two. Um, that'd be a overactive, uh, chakra. Um, and an underactive sacral chakra would be no pleasure, um, denying desires, like you have no drive, no creativity, no passion, um, or it's very low. Um, you, you're just like in denial of any hopes and dreams, any desires as a whole. Um, there's no action. You're just kind of like just chilling or going with the flow, kind of just letting things happen the way they want to go. Um, and this can be a underactive sacral chakra. So some oils, um, essential oils that you can use to help to activate this chakra or when you're working with this chakra will be sweet orange, um, ganglang, and patchouli. Um, so that's the oils. Um, then the foods. We'll get into the foods um, for your sacral chakra. Think of your orange foods. Oranges, carrots, um, turmeric, things of that nature. Honey. Honey is very important. All of these will, are going to bring out that passion, bring out that creativity, bring out that drive from that area, that, that sacral chakra area and get things going, okay? Um, so we're going to get into some crystals. Speaking of getting things going, we have some sunstone. So that's a very take action stone. This is, you know, um, crystal. So we have a sunstone here. We also have orange calcite. All these are sacral chakra crystals and some carnelian. Carnelian crystal. This is all, these are both carnelians. Also, Tiger's Eye, I have that on my ring. And a Starburst Jasper. So, everything orange. Um, when you're working with this chakra, you can wear the color orange. Um, also, like grapefruits. Um, anything that, you know, brings out passion, brings out, you know, harmony, um, creativity. What, what, what makes you creative? Um, so when you're working with that chakra, just think of all things, creativity, passion, drive, action, um, things of that nature um, to, to get you going and to make sure that that chakra is nice and vibrant and balanced. Okay, um, so check out the links in the description box below if you want to know a little bit more about these crystals. Um, check out the TikTok link because um, that'll have all the uh, a little more details about these crystals. Um, and what they do and how they work. So thank you guys for watching. The next video, part three, will be the solar plexus chakra. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Bye.